Hello Beret Troop, welcome back. I'm The Real Andy of Beret Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Good morning everyone and girl, you better sit down for this piece of tea that I have right here because Miss Mauricio Omansky, Carl Richard's husband, keeps attacking Queen Lisa Vanderpump. Uh, like he's he's not stopping and his reasons are even more stupid than the things that he is saying okay and we definitely i mean we need to discuss the whole situation um i think it's childish i think like who asked him to say all of these things out of nowhere i feel that lisa vanderpump lives rent free on kyle's and mauricio's head like that's how this like weird this is and we definitely need to talk about it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this oh mess hey, yo, me. no Right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of Liquid IV. Liquid IV, it's all about hydration. So if you are into working out, walking, running, jogging, hiking, whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes this is for you liquid iv will hydrate you twice as fast as water super convenient little packs that you can take anywhere they have all these amazing flavors green apple wild berry lemon lime uh, the list goes on and on and on so if you want to get your liquid IV, make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code Shademan Empire and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Go and get your liquid IV right now. Welcome back everyone and uh, like I was telling you before, this whole situation, I mean between I mean, the whole thing is between Kyle Richards and Lisa Vanderpump, right? Why is Mauricio having an opinion about this? Okay, I will kind of accept it on, on when he was on Watch What Happens Live because Andy... No, you know what? I'm lying. No, I don't accept it because Andy just asked him, who is the rudest celebrity that you have interact with? And he goes on and says, Lisa Vanderpump, when we know that that's not the rudest celebrity that you have interacted with, you know? And he's letting like all of these weird feelings get in the middle and she, he decided to trash Lisa. Now, not only that, on another interview now, he is still trashing Lisa Vanderpump, still talking about Ken. Like, the whole situation is just quite desperate, okay? Like, why don't you focus on your little show that not even Netflix want to advertise, okay? And then you can take hits at really successful people. Okay, so I'm going to read you this, and then we're going to discuss a little bit. It says... Mauricio Omansky is doubling down after deeming Lisa Vanderpump the rudest Bravo celebrity during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live earlier this month. Days after the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills alum clapped back at Kyle Richards' husband by suggesting he was acting as someone little puppet. The Vine Beverly Hills cast member explained his reasoning before sharing if he is still in touch with the restaurateur's husband, Ken Todd, and sharing his thoughts on Lisa and Brandy Glanville's potential return to the Bravo series. Girl. Mm -mm -mm. He says, I just don't like the way she act with my wife and the way that she took it and all that stuff. I just thought that 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 was really childish and immature and mean. Bitch, you're the one talking shit out of your ass knowing that she wasn't rude to you. 
Mauricio shared on December 8th episode of Side Piece with Melissa Feister podcast, seemingly referring to the Poppygate scandal that ended Lisa and Kyle's year-long relationship. That was very mean girl thing and she just didn't own her shit. You gotta own your shit and she fucked up and she didn't own her own shit. So yeah, that's the truth. That's my perspective on it. What do you know? You probably were a high somewhere in your house because you didn't even know what was really going on. Okay. And I'm sorry, but if someone was wrong there was Kyle and we all know it now. Okay. And while Mauricio acknowledged that he and Ken were always relatively close prior to the ladies falling out and noted that he likes Ken a lot, they have gone their separate ways. I think he's a good man, but that is the one where we ultimately, ultimately look when the wives are no longer getting together and they are not, I'm going to stand behind my life every single time. And I agree with my wife on that case, Mauricio Scher. Still, if Bravo decided to bring back Lisa and Brandy for a future season, Mauricio said he'd be supportive. That's the difference between men and women. A man's world is a lot easier to forgive and forget than the woman's world, he reasoned. Although Kyle and Lisa feuded throughout Lisa's last season on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 9, the most recent season, season 12, was a lot about Kyle's family drama with Kathy Hilton, which Mauricio says he stays completely out of. Oh, oh. I do not get anywhere near that, he confirmed. I have no opinion on that. I don't want to have an opinion on it. They're sisters. They are blood. I am not. Whatever they say, eventually, one day, will hopefully be forgotten. They'll make up. You, you will never take away the fact that they are sisters. They are blood. I am not, so I'm going to keep my opinions always to myself on that one. But again, always be supportive on Kyle. As for his own family, Mauricio said, Mom Stella Snyder is doing great. Okay, no one cares about that. When Mauricio was questioned about the potential for the expansion of it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the rest of just bullshit. So anyways, uh, the thing is, to be honest, like... He needs to at least understand the situation because this is just like when he did the whole, you know, Erica Jane, Garcelle and Garcelle's son thing. And then he's coming out saying like, oh, I didn't know what we were talking about. We were just asked to comment on it. It's the exact same thing. So I think he's just talking like shit without really knowing what happened. Did you even watch the episode of what really went down or only on hear another opinion difference to your wife because just because you're married to someone doesn't make that person automatically always right okay so anyways if you don't want to help your wife grow up as a person that's your own prerogative anyways that's it so let me know what you guys think on the comments below and like always don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye!